I want to share one of my woodworking techniques that we've been using to create this antique uh, rustic look on uh, finishing uh, finishing wood. Um, I've been using it for many woodworking projects such as making beds, cabinets, uh, displays. The surface of the finished wood looks like it's been hand-hewed. I am going to show how in short time we age the wood surface and add a very unique look to it. I'm going to use this big thick piece of rough sawn Douglas fir board. It's pretty thick, pretty long, so I'm going to cut to desired length and using a planer to plane to desired thickness. Using a carpenter's axe, I'm making scores across the wood grain every 12 inches or so. Then I'm using broad axe or hewing axe to chop off thin layer of wood surface. You can see that the head of this hewing axe is slightly tilted. It's made a way to protect the hands from hitting the edge of the wood. This technique was used back in the days by log home builders, by carpenters, and I'm sure right now some people are still using it. While I'm working, Nini is always on the watch, making sure no intruders from the wilderness. Few final touches by Nini and we are ready to make a stain. Stain is very simple. Cup of water, and a cup of white distilled vinegar. Basically half and half. And a fine grade steel wool. All mixed together and left overnight. This is next day. I'm going to remove steel wool and I'm going to test if the stain is the right color. Because if I leave a steel wool for too long, it will stain darker. Like here, the stain was left for four days. And here is from yesterday. Also here we can see tiny dark spots on the surface of the wood. It's caused by little tiny particles of steel wool. To avoid this from happening, I'm going to filter the liquid through simple paper towel. Nidhi just said that I'm doing everything right and should continue. Using a brush, I'm putting tiny layer of stain on the surface, basically just wetting the surface. And of course Nini has to supervise my work, make sure I didn't miss any spots. So it's already start changing colors. Um, and and it's gonna change more and more it, it dries, it becomes more and more grayish. So we're just gonna leave it for a little bit. I just left this one. Uh, I'll stain a little bit later just to kind of compare how it looks when it's finished. Let's go! We're gonna leave our pieces to dry for about an hour 
we're going to eat lunch. And of course, our favorite margarita pizza for lunch. Nini not very happy about that, but she's gonna have very good dinner later. So here it is after after about an hour the the stain already dried and and all wood that I stained it already became gray and it's kinda looks like it's it's almost like a driftwood color and and this is exactly what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to put a second coat of stain just on certain spots. That would make the spots a little more darker and that would make finished wood look even older. And those spots got darker and if I do again they, they get even more darker. And now I let the Nini to fix my mistakes and do final touches. And I let the boards to dry outside a little bit longer. And I think Nini is happy how our project is going so far. And now we're sanding. I'm gonna use 120 grit sandpaper and orbital sander. And I slightly sanding the surface uh, of the board, I'm basically sanding the high spots and leaving the low spots I'm using a shellac to seal the wood When I'm gonna stain, the stain gonna flow really evenly on on sealed surface. I let it dry and slightly sand it with 220 sandpaper or sand sponge. And I'm using oil-based early American stain. And then another piece I'm making, it's dark walnut, also oil-based stain. I'm just making those two samples to, to compare and choose which one I like the best. I let it dry for at least 24 hours. It takes long time for these oil-based stains to dry. Stain already dried. And on the left I have early American, on the right it's dark walnut. Now I'm going to put water-based polyurethane. Slightly sanding after first coat dries with 220 grid sandpaper. Polyurethane dries very quickly. And here I have dark walnut. And this one is my favorite early American. So I'm going to use for my next project. 